I'm going to give you five reasons you should ignore 99% of programming advice, especially on YouTube. Now, if you stay all the way until the end, you're going to learn all five, and I'll probably say some unpopular things and insult your favorite content creator on the way. So let's get started. The first problem people have is they don't look at who is actually giving the advice. Just because a person knows more than you doesn't mean they're worth listening to. There's nothing stopping you from taking one Udemy course and then starting to make programming tutorials tomorrow, regurgitating what you learned, or still being in college without ever having a programming job and starting to make React Native is the best videos. Now, some college kid talking shit is not as dangerous as those NFTs are going to the moon videos, but they can still lead to you wasting a lot of your time due to bad, misguided, unfounded advice. So I could tell you to just go look at someone's resume, but that is not always gonna work either. And you don't wanna be blindly just appealing to authority like that. You could also listen to someone who had worked at Google, but if it was after two computer science degrees and four years of prior experience, can you really follow that same path? I don't know. Now, I think you get the idea of being careful who you listen to, and you can even take it to the extreme of ignoring literally everyone except for a very small group of people. I'm not saying I'm one of those guys. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. But this is going to be a different group of people for everyone, and you're just going to need to decide who they are. Now, the second problem, and I'm going to get some heat from this, is everyone is trying to sell you something. Sell me this pen. Even if not directly, people are cranking out content based on what's going to get the most views. It's what people are searching for or what's popular and what's popular is not always right. They might tell you what you already want to hear so you keep coming back for more or make videos on the newest hottest thing even though that's not what you should be learning because it won't be around in two years. People on this platform are here to make money one way or another. They're not doing it to give you advice out of the kindness of their heart. Don't forget that. Now Aaron, what are you talking about? You relentlessly sell. In fact, I've seen your ads so many times that I paid to send you a LinkedIn message telling you to go f yourself. Yes, I'm selling something. But here's the thing, at least you know what I'm selling and where my incentives and motivations are that you can think of me as the guy who comes up to you, he's clear about his intentions from the beginning. Hey, just wanted to meet you, you're super beautiful, versus the guy who tries to be your friend, and then when you need his help, that's when he pulls it out. Yes, we do have a boot camp, but I'll be for real with you, not everyone is a good fit. It's part of the reason we have the refund money back guarantee. And that's because we cover a specific trajectory that is low code to freelancing to full-time job. And not everyone wants to become a web developer like that. Some wanna go after machine learning, game development, and some people prefer just learning in person because they can't focus on their computer. And if that's you, 100% go do that. Speaking of boot camps and courses though, we got to talk about that because most tutorials actually do suck. And I'm not just saying that. That's because I have taken a lot of courses in my day, all right? The problem is, yes, things can sound good in a tutorial. They can come from a channel that has millions of views, a course that has tens of thousands of ratings. And the person can even have tons of experience. But let me tell you something. Most people still don't know how to make a good tutorial. And the reason is because most of the time you end up just copying what's written there or you end up passively watching it. And let me just tell you, you're not gonna learn either of those ways. I've done it too. I did a full stack development bootcamp on Udemy. It was like 50 hours long. I did the whole thing, copied all the code. And you probably know about this tutorial too. By the end, I couldn't write any web development code at all. I had no idea what I just did. And pretty much everyone who learned to code had a similar experience at the beginning. Now the simple fix for this is you need to be producing code yourself. And if the content you're consuming is not optimized for that give and take, where it's giving you just enough info and then you're producing it yourself, then it's not gonna work for you. If it's not getting immediately applied, you're gonna forget it. That's just how it is. Problem number four, I call this the college tour program. You remember college tours? You see dining halls, hot girls, really nicely cut grass. The dorms are new, the gym, it looks amazing. And when you do these tours, you can get a better feel for the school and make a better decision, right? Wrong. College should not be an emotional decision. And when your tour guide is super charismatic, you see a group of cheerleaders walk by next to the dining hall. Your 18 year old brain cannot handle that. And these tours, they're not helping you. With the amount of time and money you're gonna invest in college, this should be a purely ROI based decision. Okay, yes, it's fun, but you know what else is fun? Not being in debt and not wasting a thousand hours on some material you're never gonna use. Learning the code, it's the same way. You might see well-crafted videos, charismatic people, or a bootcamp with really good marketing. The video editing is intoxicating. The color grading is hypnotic. Something wrong? This guy just convinced me I will spend hours learning a bunch of CSS I'm never gonna use. Or maybe I'll learn all of data structures and algorithms before doing any interviews. While we're at it, Vue.js, Web3, Python, just throw it all in the cart and check out. 
Now what this kind of content in college has in common is when you actually look at the data, the answers might not be sexy, but it's definitely a better way to go than the emotional route. Yes, it turns out that going to college in Chicago is probably gonna be better than Arizona. And in coding, you might dig up that, hey, WordPress is actually kind of the best for freelancing. And instead of the newest framework, well, old reliable React, still the best deterministic way to land that first job. Okay, last problem, number five, it's the dopamine. Now I'm not gonna be cheesy and say you gotta go on a dopamine fast or you gotta reset your dopamine in your brain. I'm not saying that. But what I am gonna say is watching these programming videos like the one you're watching now, gives you a lot more dopamine than sitting down and looking at a blank code editor, at least until you get good. Yes, this video you're watching now is like porn, but it's worse because at least you watch porn and then you're done. But a YouTube algorithm, it never lets you go. The tricky part about programming videos is it feels like you're learning. And yes, actually getting into the culture of coding, watching all these videos, it is actually good for motivation in a way. But if you just watch the videos, that is never gonna lead to you learning the code. And I know you already know this, but I'm just reminding you. I mean, I'll be honest, I've been super addicted to YouTube for years. And the truth is it puts you into this weird voyeuristic third person zone where you don't even wanna do the real thing, whether that's coding, going out and meeting people, or meeting women, or any of that. All I'm saying is just be careful and maybe try to get the actual coding done early in the day before you fry your brain. Back on track now, how do you get good advice about programming? And I'm not just gonna say me. You're not that guy. There is a lot of good advice out there. Now you know how to filter through it. And it's not quite that simple because a lot of the advice is conflicting. Multiple people can be right and offer you different potential paths. So just choose one and relentlessly get after it. Execute on your plans. Don't get executed by endless advice, false profits, and good color rating. All right, you know what to do. Talk to you soon.